How's it hanging, fellas? I'm Otos, and this is another episode of Mortal Kombat, and in today's episode we're playing as Cyber Sub-Zero. Because we haven't played as motherfucking Sub-Zero yet. So now we're playing as a fucking cyber variant of him. Also, Smoke has his hair out. He looks really cool with his hair. He looks kind of like Raiden. From MGS2. What am I turning on, porn? That's not what I meant to turn on. Sub-Zero should never have undergone this transformation. He shouldn't, you know, the whole fucking thing about this transformation shouldn't fucking exist to, to begin with. So dumb, I hate it. They will be unaware of my defection. Yeah, so basically, I sub Cyber Sub-Zero actually plays slightly different to Sub-Zero. He's not just a skin of Sub-Zero, we're actually not gonna play as the same character. Cyber Sub-Zero is a different character to Sub-Zero, believe it or not. But it's like, for the most part, he has the same fucking moves, except on top of on top of his move, he also has some new moves. So I kind of dislike how, uh, fucking... I think Cyberlink... Actually, you know what, maybe that's not the thing, because, like, think about it. I was about to say how it's kind of dumb, that's not... The, oh. The cyber fucking ninjas don't all look the same, because like why the fuck would Sub-Zero have shoulder pads on his like upper arms and then Cyrax has like shoulder pads on his shoulders, right? Like what what is the fucking difference? But there probably is a difference because Cyrax and Sub-Zero are two different warriors and they have two different skill sets, so perhaps they were built to uh emphasize their skill sets. Yeah, you can even see it in the way they fucking like their fighting stances. You see how they hold their arms. A very cool fucking combo, just XXX. Triple X. Like that fucking movie. That I always seen on TV, but I always was like, this movie fucking sucks. I don't wanna see it. That's how it always was. Triple X. I never wanted to fucking see that movie. But it was always on TV for some reason. Yeah, can I fucking unpause and continue what I was talking about? Shoulder pads. I can hear Captain Bomb in the background. Thank God at least it's not fucking loud like the last fucking couple of episodes where you could fear, hear a fucking outside Xbox video in the background. Yeah. See how Cyrex kind of has one of his hands like backwards and shit like... Maybe that actually helps him that he has shoulder pads on top of his shoulders and not like on his forearms. fucking so still ringing in the background. Somebody answered the damn phone. By the way, I was remember when I played Grand Theft Auto, and I made a bunch of complaints that you cannot fucking call a phone booth, you can only call from a phone booth. And I always found that stupid. Well, apparently you can call a phone booth, it's just like not exactly as easy, because the fucking number for the phone booth is not like publicly available. So you gotta do a little bit digging to actually find the number of a phone booth. By the way, the next character we're gonna play as is Nightwolf. And then it's Raiden. And that's the end. There's only two uh, no, there's only three episodes left. I only I list fucking uh, two characters, but there is a bonus episode. Where I do go through like a tower, I play as Freddy Krueger. And I also went to the crypt. Also, the last episode is a fucking hour and 20 minutes. In fact, it's like 28 minutes long. It's a fucking long episode. This episode, like so far all these episodes were like around half an hour. I think only episode 1 was like shorter. It was like 14 minutes because I just like went, like did pretty good in that one. Probably because the game was easy at that point and now the game will get a little bit harder. I wish my name said somewhere. But I always like whenever I have some gameplay footage and like my nicknames is played somewhere on the game. It's always like, at least you know for sure that it's fucking my gameplay. It's my fucking names that are played there. Actually, when you play Eleven or something, no, I think Eleven actually does display like underneath the character's name is like your nickname, your fighting style, and shit like that. It's like a lot of information next to the character's name. Stuff like that. I almost finished Ratchet and Clank, and you know what I was thinking? I do have the 2016 game, because, like I was saying in my Ratchet and Clank video that I recorded, which, by the way, should come out after this Let's Play. The gameplay and such of Ratchet and Clank, there's a part should be the video that come out after this. 
Uh, I don't really want to make a let's play of Rift Apart unless I get it for free at some point, and I'll definitely make a let's play of that game because it definitely deserves it. But right now, Rift Apart is a game I borrowed from a friend, and like I ha like I said, I have a rule where I don't make let's plays out of borrowed games because, like, my friend might want it anytime, like. Like, maybe he will say, like, oh yeah, sure, go ahead and make a let's play of it, but then he'll find out that he actually changed his mind and he needs it again. Because my friend trades games a lot, I don't really like to do that. For example, Fallout 4, like, I recently did a fucking, I mean, October, that's not that recently, but... In October, I did a bonus episode of Fallout 4, like, four years after the initial let's play begun. I made a bonus episode four years after the fucking let's play ended. And I was like... See, if I traded Fallout 4, I wouldn't be able to do that because I wouldn't have the game. Actually, I take it back. I, I fucking had the game. Because I think Fallout 4 is actually part of the PlayStation Plus collection. So now I have two Fallout 4s. One physical and one as part of the PlayStation Plus collection. So never mind, I guess I could do it, but... What if it wasn't part of the PlayStation Plus collection? Actually, I actually the, the fucking way I played was actually with the physical game. I didn't down. I don't think I downloaded the fi fucking physical. I mean, the PlayStation Plus collection version. Just the same game. Just one is physical, one digital. It'd be cool if they had the DLC because then I would be like, maybe I, maybe I could play the DLC. Actually, you know, maybe not such a bad idea. I still kind of want to replay Fallout 4 just like one more time. Go with the institute. Cause I never did that before. I went with the fucking railroad on my own playthrough. With the Brotherhood on the Let's Play playthrough. The fuck are you talking about, Sub Zero? And fucking. I never went with the institute because there are a bunch of nerds. Who the fuck wants to side with a bunch of fucking nerds and lab coats? Nobody the fucking wants that. I got a fucking monster here I forgot to open. You know what, I think I'm gonna stop fucking buying so many energy drinks and drinking them during Let's Plays, because... Right now, like, every single store that I used to buy energy drinks in, they don't really have anything that fucking interests me. Like, I walk in, I'm expecting to find, like, some energy drink that sounds really cool, and I look at it and I'm like, it's a bunch of tigers, this one's, like, fucking zero sugar, this one's not even an energy drink, it's just, like, a soda. Fuck is Kano doing? Just fucking around with these soldiers? I thought his laser was lethal. Why the fuck is he just zapping them? Come on. Also, I find it funny how one of the soldiers is like a gray old man. I was almost like, is he supposed to be unique? It's not even an old man, it's just a guy with white hair. What the fuck is that guy about? No, like, he is like old. It's not even like he's gray, it's like he's straight up with white hair like Leslie Nielsen or some shit. I'm assuming they're it's supposed to be their boss, but... He sticks out so much amongst all these other soldiers, they're all so generic looking, and then that guy is so fucking unique looking. It's almost like he's gonna be a character or something, like he's about to say something like, Oh, thanks, Sub Zero. America owns it to you. Good to know we're in America, the only country that exists. Look, it's Goro and Kintaro. I think this is the portion of the video that probably takes up most of it. <laughs> Me fighting these two fucking assholes. Kentaro, I thought you were stupid. How are you capable of saying such complicated words? Even I'm not capable of that. Yeah, this is the reason this episode is this long. These fucking assholes who I cannot fucking stand, even though I think Cyber Sub Zero is pretty cool. But I say that like Striker, I mean that he's cool to play as. I don't like him as a character. I like Sub-Zero, not fucking Cyber Sub-Zero. Not to mention even, I think even Netherrealm realized how fucking lame the fucking Cyber Initiative is. And I kind of downplayed it in the next game, like, Sub-Zero goes back to being a human? Like, how the fuck did he went back from a, ro from a human to a robot and then back to a human? Are you saying that he's wearing a robot suit like Iron Man? The like blue Iron Man. He's the war machine. Because that's not... Uh, you can kind of see his ribs and you're assuming that there's like a human underneath, right? But like, like I'm bleeding blue. I'm assuming it's kind of like a robot cop situation where they took my body and turned it into a robot. You know, but like... I, 
give the what the fuck. I guess there's fucking magic in this universe that could have fucking done anything they just could think of. You could be like, oh, Quan Chi showed up and he was like, oh, I'm gonna do one good thing and I'm gonna turn Sub Zero back normal. Here you go. Is there a good sorcerer in this fucking universe? Maybe Raiden, like, ask an Elder God, like, please turn Sub Zero back to normal. He's so fucking lame as a robot, and the Elder Gods were like, yeah, he kinda. He's kinda fucking lame. We agree. He will grant you your wish. But then again, in MK11, the Cyber Initiative comes back and you fight Sector and Cyrax in that game again. Which is fucking interesting because they're the only characters who you fight and they have movesets and everything. But they're not capable, like you can't play as them at all. They've never been added in a DLC, nothing like that. I wonder if you can like mod MK11 where like for example you go to the whole game as Rambo or something, that's kinda yeah, cool. I'm only really sad Ash Williams never fucking made it to MK11. Even though I wouldn't buy it, I would just love to see it. Because I never bought any of the DLCs. I still wanted to watch like a playthrough of Ultimate. Because I'm really curious like what the fuck's going on in the story of Mortal Kombat. That kinda sucks. Like that, that DLC is like happening right after the fucking ending. And I remember fucking watching the ending and I was like, oh, I can't wait for like MK, uh, MK12 to find out that uh, fucking Liu Kang is the new Elder God and now Raiden is just like a shitty fucking normal loser. He sucks ass, kind of like in the fucking recent movie. Battle of the Realms, he also abandoned his godhood and his eyes came back and he was like a normal guy. And then it turns out he still has his lightning powers, but he just like didn't have any like... Immortality and shit. I'm getting a phone call. Hold the fuck up. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> fuck what that phone call I got about? Ah, not important. Why the fuck would I tell you what the fuck I was talking about? Important private shit. I, what the fuck I was talking about though? I kind of forgot. Oh yeah, so like. Liu Kang became an Elder God at the end of MK11 and then Ultimate no wait it's called MK11 Aftermath but Aftermath is also a part of the MK11 Ultimate because it's like a bundle it's like it includes all kind of deal you know the game of the year edition maybe this move I kept doing by accident where I froze myself when I wanted to do an uppercut really annoyed the fuck out of me with that fucking move also, something that really fucking sucks about Sub Cyber Sub Zero is that his X ray is really hard to fucking pull off because you have to be like in the air to do it. And if you're not in the air while doing the fucking X ray, then you just fucking die and you suck dick. Okay, I might be able to pull it off. My, maybe this didn't took me all that long. By the way, remember how I mentioned before that. I, there was the first attempt at me recording this game before I decided to just get the fucking PC version and record that instead. I was trying to record this on the PS3 version, but using PS Now on my PC. Which, well, looks a hundred fucking times. Like this footage already doesn't look all that great when you look in the background, it's like really blurry and shit. But at that fucking footage, at least didn't it get fucking input delay for like a full second or something. Didn't sometimes the screen just went completely gray where you couldn't fucking see anything. And with that fucking stuff, with all that shit, I still gotten all the way to this point. I think I gave up around Nightwolf. I was like, I'm not fucking gonna do that. This is impossible. I'm in, in a tie right now. I was doing pretty good actually up until now, but like, I didn't realize it really confuses me sometimes because it's like. A skull next to my name means that I won a round. <laughs> Sometimes I look at it, I'm like, oh, I died once, okay. Like, I lost a round. So I was looking at the screen before, and I was like, oh, I lost, I won a round if I win this one, which I, I was winning, and I did one. I'm gonna win, but no, I fucking lost the first round, which I forgot. Sucks to be me, I guess.
Sucks to be me and my fucking computer. I was watching the new Boba Fett show. Ah, what the fuck is it called? Star Wars Book of Boba Fett. That's a weird name. Book of Boba Fett? Like, what is it? Is this series gonna end with Boba Fett being, a, being like... And that's how I became a ruler of Tatooine, the biggest fucking crime syndicate leader. They call him Lord Fett, by the way, because he's the leader of the fucking... Well, that's the thing. So in, like, Star Wars Episode 6, they kill, you know, Leia kills Jabba the Hutt. And, uh, Boba Fett falls into the Starlight's pit. Which he, as we find out, which I think was actually in a book and stuff. So it, we knew for a while that Boba Fett didn't fucking die in episode 6. He climbed out and he was fine. Well, he wasn't really fine, but... He at least was alive. At the first piece. So, what the fuck happened to him? So, he was in a Starlight's pit and Starlight's... It's some of the weirdest fucking Star Wars lore I fucking ever heard, because it's like... It somehow extends its fucking victim's life to make them, like, live a thousand years so we can feast on them for as long as, as possible. So it makes you live a thousand years, but these thousand years you're gonna be spent being fucking slowly, like, digested pretty fucked up. And then on top of that, if that wasn't fucking ridiculous enough, apparently Starlex feeds on fucking like nightmares and experiences of his fucking victims and then it injects them into the newer victim. So that means it's like, what the fuck? That's so fucking stupid, man. What the fuck is all this fucked up shit? Yeah, I don't know how long Boba Fett was in that Starlex pit, but I'm assuming like at least a day. At least a whole day, because it's like, when we meet him, he's in a Starlight pit already. And... It's like he was knocked out for a while, so I'm assuming he was kind of like, you know... Uh, common to... Fucking senses and shit. So he climbs out, but the fun part is that I always assumed he, like, flew using his jetpack out of the Starlight pit, like, through his mouth. But no, apparently he digged a fucking hole in the side of the Starlax and then dug himself out of the ground like a mole. It's fucking genius. That's probably a way fucking worse way to go about it, to be honest. But like, I don't know if he was even able to climb out of the mouth for it. Maybe that was out of the fucking... Maybe that was impossible, so he had to fucking climb out of the side. Pretty fucked up, to be honest. And yeah, we see flashbacks to episode 2. I actually like episode 2 a lot. I don't think it's as shitty as people say. Episode 1 is pretty shitty, but 2 is alright. I like episode 2. Yeah, we see like a flashback to when Boba Fett saw his father dying. Django Fett, right? That's the reason why I really like Boba Fett, because I really like characters who like, have like descendants. Like, I like when I, we know a character and we also like know like their dad and we know that oh my god not only is this character a badass but we know that their father was a badass and I guess in the comics we also know that Django Fett's father was also a badass actually I don't know who the fuck Django Fett's father was he definitely wasn't another Fett no it's like he, Django Fett was, didn't really get a father like Boba Fett Django Fett more like had like a like a mentor someone who like took him in and like trained him and all this shit and also, Boba Fett's not like... Boba Fett's actually a clone, like if you knew, didn't knew that. Boba Fett's a clone of Django Fett, but Django raised it as his own son. Kind of like a Metal Gear situation inside of it. But I should have... Actually, I think I should... The Metal Gear situation is more like the fucking Django Fett situation. That's a better comparison. Look, fucking Ermac is back to his normal outfit. I guess he changed his mind about that fucking hoodie he's had. And yeah, my favorite character, getting his ass kicked, Jesus Christ. Maybe I just figured out good fucking combos with Cyber Sub-Zero. And it seems like we're gonna fight Kano, because he just kinda sends to the side Frozen. Unless I just get lucky and I'm about to get my fucking ass handed to me. Uh-oh, Cyber Sub-Zero has a cool sword. I'm actually going to Sub-Zero hit that sword too. Yeah, what the fuck I was saying? So 
So we have a bunch of flashbacks, and we find out that part of the him climbing out of the star legs. That's after episode six, right? Or possibly taking place during episode six, but like towards the end. I don't know how long it took, like how much of a time span episode six had. Like was it a couple of days? So it's possible when, you know, Boba Fett fell into a Starlax pit at the beginning of episode 6, by the end of it he was already out. And, you know, there's like a, there's a clashback sequences in this episode, and also the present time sequences, which are... You are not so fearsome. I mean, he didn't claim to be. Did he? Actually, I don't know, fuck. Oh my god, thanks. I thought we were done. Shut up, I wanna hear the old man. I need to investigate. Who gave you the right to speak? We'd go with, but we have to return to our unit. <laughs> we would, we would go with, but we're a little bit fucking scared. Good luck, man. <laughs> he ain't gonna need <laughs> He ain't no man, he's a fucking robot. Wait, we didn't fuck Kano? He was right fucking there, just standing. Oh yeah, Noob Cybot. Noob Cybot looks so stupid in this game. Everybody looks kinda greedy and fucking scary and realistic. And then Noob Cybot looks like a fucking cartoon version of himself. Oh, nice fucking job, guys. Is it the same guys? Oh look, Quan Chi has the fucking thing that uh, was very important in X. I didn't know that. No, not New York City. All of the what did you see? All of the world. Solnados on a scale I thought unimaginable. All of Earthrealm's souls imprisoned, absorbed by Shao Kahn, multiplying. Hey, look, Jax has a robot arm. Just like you want Jax to be. I don't know why he didn't hit robot arms when we played as him. Like, who the fuck wants to play as Jax with his normal fucking arms? That's lame. They will guide you. Protect you. They will guide you. Raiden's like, shut the fuck up, I don't believe in your false gods. Hurry, the smell appears to be nearly Yeah, think about it. Raiden is a god. Shouldn't he know the fucking spirits? Whatever the fuck is he talking about? Maybe this is why this episode is so long. Maybe so oh, Noob Cyber Quan Chi combo. It's my brother. He's a little bit of a bitch. You are not worthy of the name Sub Zero. Who are but I am worthy of the name Cyber Sub Zero. You, you repping blue? Yes, it is oh my I. god. Quan Chi my older brother. Restored. You and I both. We are flawed copies of our former selves. Yeah. I have no flaws. Quan Chi has perfected. Noob's pretty oh, cool right now. I hate his voice in Eleven. Like, why the fuck they made him sound like that? He sounds better here. He just has deep voice. He sounds kind of like Sub Zero. And B has such a dick. If he wasn't a, such a fucking asshole, he would have been kind of like Scorpion, where he's like started out as a bad guy, but like maybe he had some good in him. Scorpion, right? But no, fucking Noob is just a fucking dickhead. Yeah, so we find out that after that, Boba Fett didn't really exactly hit the best lot. He climbed out of a fucking star like bit, and then the first thing to happen to him was he got fucking robbed by a bunch of Jawas. Well, I wish they fucking died, but maybe they were the same Jawas that died in the Mandalorian. I hope so, because I hate Jawas. Suck ass. So... Yeah, he gets fucking robbed. They take his armor, they take all of his cool shit. And he's just left in his, like, outfit, like, underneath what the fuck he had. Like, just like some fucking white jumpsuit. And he gets fucking taken prisoner by Tusken Raiders. And what do the Tusken Raiders do with him? They just like tied him up to a fucking pole and just like beat the shit out of him. And I'm like, man, Boba Fett's fucking not having a good week. I really like the detail of like when he's exposed to the fucking sun and like probably the scorching fucking weather of the deserts of Tatooine. His skin got all fucked up. That's probably why he's recovering on a fucking tube full of water in the present. Is that a fucking dragon in the background? Feasting in New York? That's awesome. Wait, is this New York? Does New York have a fucking haunted cemetery? Famous Manhattan. Why did I vomit it? I'm a robot, I don't just fucking have that. What a fucking float robot fucking vomits. Next thing I find out is that this robot needs to shit and piss too. 
Why would a robot do that? Yeah, so... The fuck I was saying? Tusken Raiders children beat the fuck out of him. Actually, sometimes Tusken normal Tusken Raiders beat the fuck out of him too. And I was like, in Mandalorian Season 2, they tried to like humanize Tusken Raiders by making them like, you know, you can be friends with them, but it's just like, they're not really like trusting of strangers. That's why they're kind of like acting all fucking feral and shit. But here we have like, they're fucking them being fucking bunch of assholes again. Maybe Anakin was right. About fucking killing them all. Also, what the fucking planet Anakin from? Was that Tatooine? Where the fucking quad racing took place? Was it Tatooine? I guess. No, I think it was. Yeah, so. Oh, my back. So fucking. He gets bullied to hell. He runs away, but then he has like a fight with like a Tuscan Ra Ra Raider warrior girl, and I was like, oh my god, don't fucking try to make a Tuscan Raider into a cute fucking fighting girl. Like, what is she gonna take off her helmet and reveal that? Oh my god, all Tuscan Raiders are cute girls. Now Tuscan Raiders are like ugly under their fucking mask, and you're then you fucking trying to make this one into a cute fighting girl. Well, she beats the shit out of. Boba Fett, because he's kind of fucked up right now. Even though he does pull up a pretty good fight, even though he's fighting with a branch. Because he stole from the kid. He didn't beat the fuck out of the kid, even though he had a chance. And I was like, perhaps he saw this kid. You know, like, this kid is... I was thinking a little bit too deep about that situation. What happened in this episode, where... Boba Fett was, like, raised to be fucking ruthless from the beginning, right? Even as a child in the Clone Wars, he was already fucking ruthless and just like killed, killed people and shit. Maybe he saw a little bit of himself in that Tusken Raider child and that's why he spared it. My god, that was close. And... I guess I don't fight Quan Chi. Yeah, I think Quan Chi is a... Uh, Nightwolf comes up and he's like, oh, I'm gonna take over now, Sub-Zero, thanks. Nightwolf chapter kinda sucks. Nightwolf kinda sucks, that's what I don't like about that chapter. And he fights like really tough enemies, like Sindel's really fucking tough. Yeah, so... I think he fights Sindel like only once in this game and it's really a really tough fight. She might be the only fucking enemy who we fight only once. Unless we fight her again and I just forgot. Maybe we fight her twice in a row. No, I don't think I do. And... Hiwutani? Who the fuck said that? New Cybot? Fuck that man. <clears throat> and yeah, then he goes with the little boy, and I think they actually start like looking at fucking Uncle Owen's house where Luke lives. But at that point, I think Uncle Owen's already dead. So I think they're actually looking at like fucking bandits raiding their house. You are right. So is it canon that fucking Boba Fett is the one who killed them? And it was like, oh shit, I know this house. Something like that. And... He fights fucking Goro. Goro shows up, like an alien that looked exactly like Goro. And he fucking strangles it and earns the respect of Tusken Raiders, who I guess le let him go. That's why when he came back in Season 2 of Mandalorian, he had Tusken Raider equipment with him. Because I guess they gave him to him, because they respected him as a warrior at that point, I guess. Because they gave him some water as a sign of respect, I guess. And then we, you know, cut back to him in like the city, and he's the fucking shut up. I don't, I'm not done talking. And he's like the new fucking ruler of the Jabba Hutt's empire. So now it's fucking Boba Fett's empire, and that's what the fuck he's fucking ruling. And he's basically just going around Tatooine cities, and he's announcing to everyone that I fucking rule this place now. Fuck you. Actually, he's not like fuck you. He's like kind of nice about it. And yeah, he just gets like ambushed by some bandits and shit like that. And there was a really funny scene where they were talking to like some alien and Boba Fett's like, what the fuck is he talking about? I don't understand his language. I was actually surprised how many fucking scenes with Boba Fett there were that was actually kind of funny. And... And fucking... They go to like a bar that looked like really fucking nice. Like there was like a bar that would like pass in real life for like a pretty nice bar. And there was like an alien chick. And I guess she was gonna be like an... I don't know, she was pretty chill with the fact that Boba Fett's their new leader. Maybe she wasn't glad that he's 
their new leader because after Jabba fucking died, did Fortuna took over, you know, that fucking weird Twilight guy who's like all pink and weird looking, he took over, Boba killed him, and he took over. <clears throat> so yeah, he goes out of the bar when he got paid a lot of money, I guess. And he's a little bit... Seems like the antagonist right now that we kind of have set up are the whoever the fuck these, like, assassins are that try to kill Boba Fett. And whoever the fuck the mayor of the city that he's in is, because he doesn't seem to give a shit about Boba Fett taking over, which Boba would like for him to give a shit. And, yeah, we don't know who these assassins are. They might be connected to the mayor, I don't know. And also, Boba's kind of fucking up. And this is my biggest complaint with this episode. Whenever Boba fights, there's so many cuts. But whenever it cuts from, like, one one angle of him fighting to the next, he's, like, in, like, completely different positions. And it just looks really fucking weird. And, yeah, he kind of fucks up. And I, I'm assuming he just didn't recover all the way, you know? so Because he has to be, like, rushed back to his room where he's... I guess being fucking put back together. I'm assume, I'm really hoping it doesn't fucking end up being something like his right hand man. What the fuck was her name? Shenek Fan, who was also in the Bad Batch. So she's aware of the fact that he has a sister, Omega, as we found out in the Bad Batch. Uh, Boba Fett has a sister named Omega. So is that gonna come up in this show? I was really curious about that. Is that is he aware that he has a fucking sister or not? What is she, what is Omega doing right now? I don't fucking know. And yeah, he has to be rushed back. And I'm really hoping it doesn't fucking like the series doesn't end with like for example Shenek fan killing Boba Fett, realizing that he's just not fucking up to to like rule Tatooine and she's gonna fucking rule instead. I really hope that doesn't fucking happen because like he saved her life. She might at least stay fucking loyal to him. Yeah, I was gonna finish this episode and already fucking kind of over talking. So, yeah, I really fucking love this episode. I'm really looking forward to more. See you fellas in the next episode. Bye.